Welcome back to Low Country Spotlight. We are moving into segment two of our show. And our next, kind of a more serious note, our next guest is Tyler Lane. And by day, he is a blue collar warehouse worker slash marketing executive, all of that. But by evening and on the weekends, and quite honestly, um, probably throughout the bulk of the day even, mm -hmm. he is a member of the Christ Epidemic. And uh, we actually spoke with Carl Blood a number of weeks ago. Carl Blood is going to be joining us on the next segment. But we wanted to welcome Tyler to Low Country Spotlight. Thank you hey. so much for coming. Thank you. I'm excited to be here. This I'm so cool. happy that you're here. You know, before we went on the air, we were talking about so many things that you all are involved in. And one of the things we mentioned was Tent City. And like, holy cow, I just saw Tent City for the first time a couple of weeks ago. And now you're telling me that Tent City is gone. Yep, they got rid of it. The whole city, they, they um, from what I know, mm -hmm. um, I haven't been keeping up on it, but basically is the city got tired of, most of the people there were coming from other cities. Yeah. They weren't just locals. Yeah. So it was just filling up this, the top of the town and right. the city just didn't like the look of that. Right. There were hundreds of churches helping though. Oh like yeah. Carl's church went out there like yeah. at least once a week or yeah. every other week and yeah. they helped feed them and stuff. But And so now it's gone. It's gone. And, and the question I have is what in the world happened to those people? Where'd they go? Hey man, that's a good question. Yeah. I, I don't personally know. All I yeah. do is pray for them. Yeah. That's all I can yeah. do. Yeah. Yeah. That, that's yeah. great. Pray for all of us. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Throw some that's extra it. ones for me. <laughs> <laughs> but the Christ Amen. epidemic, tell us a little bit about what your involvement is in the group and what you do specifically. Okay. Well, Cool. Well, specifically, just to be very blunt, mm -hmm. I am white, and most You're of the You're kidding. <laughs> no. No, I'm just joking. Go ahead. <laughs> yeah, so um, I've, I've been approached a couple times about the Christ epidemic. A lot of people think it's a black rap group. Mm -hmm. um, so what God's really using me for is um, I kind of help blood with putting together some of his ideas. Yeah. God gives him a lot of ideas, and he just bounces them off of us. And I'm not trying to sound prideful, yeah. but basically he'll run it by me and we'll be like okay well that's this is how white people kind of look right, at this stuff right, i taught right. him i taught him about house parties and religions yeah. and he's yeah. like white people do that yeah <laughs> yeah well and this is the thing that yeah. i find so amazing about the christ epidemic and i did have an opportunity to look at the video <clears throat> that you all sent and we're going to put that on our facebook page Amen. you know God is no respecter of person. Amen. God is no respecter of race, color, uh, gender, mm. ethnicity. Mm. I mean, God is who we all believe in. It is who we look to for our sustenance and mm. to help us with our being. Mm. Mm. So what does it matter, the color of someone's skin? And that is the thing that has gotten us as a country, as a society, as a world into so much trouble anyway. Amen. You know, talk a little Amen. bit about, you know, what it is that you, um, help to, it seems like you, you're kind of like in the interpretive uh, <laughs> aspect of it from the standpoint of bringing it into the mainstream, which yes. is where it should be anyway. Amen. Yes. We're, we're definitely about breaking those barriers, yeah. letting people know that we're not a church. We are, we're the body of Christ. Oh, we're yeah. all one. Yeah. So me being out there next to blood, people are like, so that's a white dude and a black dude oh, yeah. standing next to each other. And they seem and to like each yes, other. Yes. And we have a great relationship, man. Yeah. Praise God. Yeah. For Carl blood. Yeah. Yeah. And basically we just, we just go out there and we show the people that there's, there's not this racial tension that everyone thinks. Yeah. Everything on CNN about white people hating black people and black hating white. That yeah. That's not. That's not real in my heart. Exactly. When, when Christ is in my heart, there's no hatred for my brother. You can't say that you love Christ who you can't see, but you hate your brother who you can see. Yeah. Jesus said that in yeah. his word. And so I help to live that out with Christ just doing his work. And you know, in watching the video, some of the highlights from the video were just the fact that this has really been a rough year in mm -hmm. our community for, mm -hmm. you know, as the media calls it, race relations, <laughs> quote unquote. And it's so amazing that they will take, mm -hmm. you know, random acts of violence, um, by certain people and just try to turn that into this, not a Christ epidemic, to this horrible epidemic that is where, you know, racism mm. and the fact that races aren't getting along. But tell us what you all do to combat that. To combat that, so what we did last year was we, we fed over 400 homeless people yeah. just to show that we're in the city. Um, and to combat the racism, we put out a couple videos just showing that, you know, we're together yeah, yeah. and we're one. Yeah. Um, and all our shirts, we've got um, all our promotions we do, we mix it up. Um, when we do our events, it's not like one of us is the leader and one of us is not. We're just right. we're one body, one team working together. Right. Um, but as far as like directly hitting, that's all we've really done directly to hit at the race card. Yeah. Is just work together oh, yeah. and show each other love. Yeah. And just go out there and. 
Yeah, and again, I think that so many people, you know, had so many horrible expectations about what would happen in our community, Mm -hmm. you know, when those incidents happened, Mm -hmm. for example, when the shooting at Mother Emanuel, when Walter Scott occurred. So many people thought, you know, we're going to do just like they did in California or in New York. And, you know, we we did not do that. And I'll tell you, as as a young white man, I was very proud to see that the black community reacted the way they did oh, down yeah. here. They, yeah. I've never seen so many people gather in a circle and pray for oh, other yeah. people. Yeah. And like they showed the videos and they were, I'm just like, how can, how can you, like the KKK, how can you do that? How can you hate your brothers yeah. when all they do is show love? Like, exactly. Christ life, no swag loss. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't and, understand I, and, I, that. and again, I think that there are so many people who were so moved by that, yes. but, but not just the way that the black community reacted, but the fact that, you know, the entire community, black, white, you know, brown, everyone came together came and together. said, you know what? Amen. Instead of going to tear up our own stuff and destroy each <laughs> other, you know, we're going to work together Amen. and build each other together. We attack the so. real enemy. The real the real enemy wasn't a white guy coming to a church with yeah. a gun. The real yeah. enemy was Satan yeah. convincing a young man to oh, go yeah. in and try and yeah. put up these boundaries that aren't really there. And you know, and, and even I remember the day, that Friday evening, when they had mm. the bond hearing for Dylan Roof. Not that we want to give any attention to him. And, and so many of the family members got up and said, you know, I forgive you. Oh, amen. Those are powerful words. I God forgive bless. you for you taking the mm. life of my loved one because amen. of the love that I have in my heart. You know, amen. I forgive you. That's and it was so powerful. amazing. Yeah. And I think, grace of God. Yeah, yeah I think people just couldn't get that. Now, um, <laughs> you t- there was something on the back of your shirt. You don't have to show us, but um, I know Carl's got some pictures out. It says deployed. It says deployed. You know, like, so you're in the military now? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> kind of. We are okay. in battle. Okay, T- talk to us about that. Talk to us about uh, what that means. So f- just for me, from my perspective, my heart deployed. Jesus didn't go into a city and say, I am the Messiah. Listen to me. Yeah. He went into a city and he served. Yeah. And he helped people and he showed them that love we were talking about, that grace, that mercy. That's what he showed them. And then he went on to explain who he, who he was. Mm -hmm. So the deployed to me, it just shows that I need to, I need to get out of my own pride and get out of my own selfishness. Yeah. And you go out into the world and help other people feel their needs and find out what's really hurting them in here and help them help give that. So deployed is really take a step out your front door and yeah. go help somebody, wow. go serve somebody in the name of Jesus. Yeah, and that's that's wonderful. Good and Lord. you know, I, I appreciate your candor. I appreciate you saying, hey, listen, this is what I feel that my role mm. is in this organization. Because a lot mm. of times we don't recognize the fact that, you know, we can't do this alone. No. You know, Carl can't Amen. do this alone. He's got to get, Hallelujah. you know, other people that can help to move this thing along. And we're so happy, you know, uh, that, you're, that you're helping him. Okay, so we've been talking to Tyler Lane, who is again by day and by night, He's got all these wonderful things going on. We'll have more information about Tyler and the Christ Epidemic on our Facebook page. Don't go anywhere. We've got more Low Country Spotlight coming right up.